No splash plays for Kair Elam at practice on Sunday, but he is coming off a nice practice on Friday that featured an interception at Highmark Stadium. It has been a very good year for the former first round pick, a bounce back of sorts. A.J. Feldman talked with him today and can explain what's going right. Former first round pick Kair Elam has had a turbulent first two years in the league, but he embraces his difficult journey. I've been very appreciative of uh, everything that I've been through um, it allowed me to grow into who I am now and I'm just really just trying to continue to get better. Better might be an understatement. Elam has been one of the top performers in training camp so far, consistently working in with the starting defense. His head coach says that's no accident. He continues to work tirelessly to, to improve, uh, so credit him for that. I'm a big believer and what you put in is what you get out. When great things do happen, I, I appreciate it because you know it's work, hard work paying off, but I still want to continue to stay level-headed and continue to keep just keep grinding it out, keep um, doing what's asked of me and just continue to make plays. McDermott also credits his fellow coaches. New cornerback coach Jamile Adai has provided a fresh start and perspective for Elam, and defensive coordinator Bobby Babich has hyped up Elam after nearly every one of his big plays in camp. Sometimes you have to give belief or give confidence before you get it. And I'm not saying that's the case in, in this situation or all situations specific to Kyrie. It is important. I mean, he's been through for sure. Let's just say last year alone, that was a that was a challenging and trying year. And so uh, there is an element of or a degree of re reinstilling that belief and that confidence. Elam spent most of last season hurt, battling an ankle injury that eventually forced him to go on injured reserve. However, this season he's healthier than ever. And that's no accident. I'm just putting money into my body, putting a lot of money into my body. Rest, recovery, stand, have a stable home. I can't thank my people back home who I work with tirelessly to, to get healthy, stronger, faster, you know, bigger, everything in, uh, above. And, and um, I'm just I'm super grateful. An Elam breakout would be massive for the team's long-term plans. But for now, Elam is just focused on having another great practice tomorrow. Reporting at Bill's Training Camp, I'm A.J. Feldman.